Hello and welcome. My name is Sahar Kordahi. I'm the founder of the Bright Side of Life Women's Gathering. I'm also a community builder coach, networking community builder coach. And today I just want to, before I start, I just want to say thank you so much for Kritis for giving me this opportunity to speak to you about community, to speak to you on a topic that is so relevant right now to a woman's journey. As we see the world um, connecting more and growing more and more women are coming together in collaboration, more women are, are, are joined together in community to grow and support one another. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about how I came about to becoming or how I stepped into the role of being a team leader or community leader in my own community and what really drove me to really be able to support women to network, to grow their community, and be a part of this greater change, this evolution that's happening right now in our world. As I said, my name is Sahar, and Sahar means dawn. It means early in the morning when the sun rises. And not so long ago, I wasn't in a place where the sun rised all the time, or I wasn't in a place where there's a bright side at the time. Unfortunately, it was a, a dark space that I really need to get out of I was in a very unhealthy relationship for about uh, four, uh, 18 years, a marriage that I did not belong to. It's a, and so I made a decision to leave that. But when I was there, um, I felt like I didn't belong to this, this energies because it wasn't the lifestyle that I really, really envisioned to have. You know, when we all get married, we have this vision of being in a place where we're supported and we're loved and, and all the wonderful things that we think about. Unfortunately, this was not the place. But what wonderful things came out of it is a lot of growth, um, a lot of uh, two beautiful girls. But, but the place that I was at that did not belong to me taught me so much, ladies. And it taught me that I needed to be patient. I needed to really, really learn how I could get out of the, how to get out of this space is for me to be able to, to really look deep inside of me and needing the need to belong to a community that is really a much more healthier, uh, a community that really has more support and love for me and I'm able to also share my vision and mission. So in 2000 and exactly about 2000 and, um, 2008, in my family room, I decided to start a small community of women called the Bright Side of Life, getting out of that dark side of life into the bright side of life. And originally, it was a support group of six beautiful women that would come together. We would all share our stories, and we would just share what is it that we need to help and, and do things with each other, to help each other, to support each other. It was a, a community that I wanted to belong to. And before we knew it, we have hundreds of women now joining us four years later. In fact, four months we celebrate that. But what is community? Community is a place where you feel you're supported. Community is a place where you feel like you're loved. The community is a place where you feel like you have a sense of belonging with like-minded women that come together to support you in every single way. But here's what I also found. Throughout my teaching and coaching the past six years or so, I've learned that there's so many women that really sabotage their way of coming into a community because there's a part of them that really doesn't move forward when it comes to wanting to be a part of a group or a community. Basically, some women, business women specifically, there are certain things that are holding them back from thriving in their own business and holding them back from really a resistance from collaborating with other women. And this is what really this conversation is going to be about. How can you be able to resist of moving forward when it comes to working with other women in the community or be a part of a bigger community so you're able to grow your personal life as well as your business life? And this is what the, the few tips that I want to give you today of how to do that. Number one, you need to be aware of your inner critic. Now, one of the reasons I started the community, as I've mentioned to you, that I needed a support and, and I needed to support, but now I'm supporting and receiving support at the same time, which is wonderful. Think about 
what part of you is resisting to joining a community or even reaching out to another sister in business or personal life and really wanting to be their friends, wanting to be somebody you want to do joint ventures with, somebody you want to collaborate in business with, and really strategic alliances with? What part of you is stopping you? There is an inner judge or inner critic inside of us, and you need to be aware of it and pay attention to it. That inner judge is holding you back. And so if you really confront that inner judge or the critic and say, okay, you showed up at a time in my life where you really need to hold me back from perhaps stepping into a community that may have not served me or situation that may have not served me, but this time I'm ready to move forward and make those connections. Be aware of that critic, inner critic or that judge. Another point that I, I see a lot of times, unfortunately, while as I'm teaching community building, um, is I find women judging other women and women judging themselves of feeling like that particular person that they're about to reach out to and speak with may not have the same weight or the, or the same positioning or maybe the same power or, or the same business practices or whatever it is that the excuses are. There is no bigger and better people than you. It's all about you wanting to reach out and ask you, you by, by you judging, by you thinking that they might not want to work with you or want you to be part of their communities, you're not, you're judging them. It's not about you also judging yourself, but you're also judging them, thinking that they are better than. I also see a lot of women thinking uh, other women may be less than, you know, they just started their business, they may be not the right venture, new venture for me. That's not, it's not about where they are in their lives, it's who they are, they're like-minded, do they have that energy, the drive, the passion that want, that you feel that you could connect with. What I love about my community is I'm able to collaborate with such wonderful women from every stages of business, whether they're just starting rebirthing a new business or they've been in the business for over 20 years. It's about our like-mindedness. It's about can we come together and our energy to be able to work together, to be able to support each other, whether they're friends that you want to be with or whether there's someone that you want to do business with, strategic alliances that you want to do business with. Again, pay attention to your inner judge. Also, the essential ingredients that you need to create this very own collaborative, supportive connection is very important one in your personal, pro professional, global. And so what do I mean by the essential ingredients is where are you right now in your life? And be very clear about what is it that you really want in that relationship. In fact, create a plan of a strategy of, okay, you know, in this particular month, I would like to create more strategic alliances with seven women that are going to be able to help me sell more tickets to my upcoming events or maybe understand more about what I do so they could refer business to me. Or maybe I want to join a community of like-minded women that are there to support me grow my business. Or even from a personal perspective, what kind of friends do you want to include in your life? Friends that will be able to support you emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally, health-wise. Be strategic and be intentional on the people that you want to invite in your life to support you as you continue to move forward with your business. And what I mean also by that is, you know, have, having clarity, you know, the law of attraction, whatever you put out there comes to you, whatever you think about comes about. Also, when you do set an intentional, the right energies will show up, the right people that you want to work with. In fact, they are already there, ladies. You just need to show up. For these people so they're able to see you do you see so again being very uh, the ingredients is learning and understanding what is it that you want specifically when it comes to going and joining a community so that's another point that I want to make sure that you all get um, also understanding our beliefs our backgrounds our conditioning are the family dynamics they really play a huge role into wanting to belong to a community Okay, um, you may be taught that it's best to do things on your own or you can't share this or that with these people, that you have to work very, very hard on your own and you're not able to, you shouldn't tell this person your strategies or what you do because they might take it away from you or they might steal it or they might 
Well, that's all wrong. You know why? Because there's so much abundance in this world. And I want to share something with you, a story that really actually happened. When I first started the Bright Side of Life Women's Gathering, you know, as a life purpose coach, I didn't want any coaches to be in my community. You know, I was just starting and I was in a place of, I don't want to call it scarcity, but I was just making sure that these women that come to the Bright Side of Life they are there, they're not coaches, and I want to make sure that I'm the only one who is able to, you know, prosper from the, the group and the community as I continue to grow. And I would really get really upset when I have um, somebody who is a coach who actually showed up, and she's talking and mingling and networking with my people. And so I would really didn't want them to come anymore and I would not invite them so that's like a secret I haven't really shared with anyone it's my naked truth I was in a place of not abundance but I was thinking of you know what they're coming to me and therefore they have no right to prospect with my folks that I really worked so hard to come to my community well later I've learned that it's so wrong and how I've learned is as I continue to grow my community, more and more amazing, wonderful women start to come. And I got to know them on a deeper level. And believe it or not, maybe about 70% of my audience are all coaches right now. Many of them are teaching exactly what I'm teaching right now. Many of them are collaborating and working with. And how I overcame this is going deep inside and trying to figure out what conditioning, what is it that told me that I wasn't able to welcome everybody and, and, and think that there is scarcity rather than abundance in this world. And I learned through my conditioning, my upbringing, and the way that I was told that you, know, that you have to hone in your own people and you can't share them with anyone else, which is so wrong. There's so much abundance. Right now, last month for the Bright Side of Life, we had over 90 women come. Many of them are women that did teach networking like I do. Many of them are community leaders. Many of them have workshops and seminars. And I'm sharing more and more and teaching women how to create more and more relationships with everyone on the Bright Side of Life. And guess what? I'm receiving more and more and more. So my message to you today is to be open to receiving and knowing that there's so much out there, ladies. There's so many wonderful people, wonderful women that you could collaborate with, build joint ventures with, make sure that you have um, created alliances with to support you and help you, whether it is in your personal life or in your business life. In addition, pay attention to your inner critic, the critic that's telling you that you shouldn't talk to her, or she's not good enough, or, or she's less than. Also, another point to point out that know that whatever it is that you're doing, you have the right divine market that's attracting, uh, attracted to you. The gift that you're putting out there to the world, these are there are specific people that are ready for you to show up so you're able to help them and support them in their businesses. And know that there's so much abundance out there. There's millions of people out there. So you don't need to worry about someone else taking, you know, these people from you or, or, or making sure that, you know, the people that you're working hard with, nobody's touching them. Sharing is really great. Being able to be great, grat grateful for all that you've received every day. Those are the things that you need to think about and work about. And whenever you're ready, Whenever you become who you want to be, just watch and pay attention to the amazing, incredible women that are going to show up, or even men that are going to show up into your life. Community is there for you and no one else is there for you, not even your own family. And remember one thing, ladies, you can't come, become yourself by yourself. You always need support. You always need someone to be there to support you, whether it's a community or an individual. And here's what I want to share with you. I'm here to support you. I'm here to help you out. I am offering a 45-minute consultation for any of you who are drawn to the work that I do. For those of you who really want to step out of your comfort zone and really join a community or build your, your, your uh, alliances and your joint ventures or all these amazing, wonderful women that come, can come and support you. 
help you network for new clients. If you're drawn to this and it's something that's really resonating to you right now and you really want to learn more how I could help you, well, I have an amazing program called Networking and Community Builder Program that could really support you on your journey to grow your network so you're able to prosper, you're able to make more friendships, more business alliances, more clients that are willing to pay you for what you deserve for the services that you do offer. Again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening to this. Hope this made sense to you, but I did come from my heart and spoke from my heart sharing with you how you too can be part of a community. I thank you all again for being here, for listening, and I hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.